Hi, if you're watching this video, it means one thing has happened. The Wi-Fi has gone down during the presentation. Uh, so we're just going to play this video off Mike's desktop and we'll see uh, how far we can get before the Wi-Fi kicks back in. So uh, this is uh, a section on data scraping and scraping data from HTML pages into Google Sheets and also show you a tool called Tabula where you can scrape tables right out of a uh, PDF um, using some free software. Um, this first exercise uh, that I have up here was created by ProPublica's Lena Groger. Uh, I've got her Twitter handle right here, uh, and that's also how you spell her name. Uh, if you're ever at a conference and have a chance to hear her speak, uh, go. Uh, that's her Twitter handle. She's a great follow. Uh, she has some great data biz work uh, at ProPublica. Uh, you can find this exercise on uh, my training page, uh, which is right here, bit.ly slash spjgoogletools. Again, that's bit.ly slash spjgoogletools. Um, and on that page, uh, you'll go uh, into the home page uh, and then select the data scraping page here at the very top. Uh, and this page has a link to the Journal's Toolbox Public Records page. Uh, but be sure to click on this second one here, the data scraping exercise. This is what we're going to be talking about here in a minute. Um, it also has some examples of some PDFs that you can use and download uh, with Tabula, which is a tool used a little bit later uh, to scrape data out of PDFs, which is very handy out of native PDFs. Um, so again, uh, this page has all of the information you need and open up this data scraping exercise. This is a script that Lena Groger gave us a few years ago, a couple years ago at a conference called Import HTML. Uh, and if you insert a web address where it says URL, uh, and in the quote marks here where it says element type, type in the word table, uh, and then number element on page is typically a zero. Um, it will scrape the HTML table, meaning a grid, out of that HTML uh, document, which is uh, the web address, the URL, the web address of the page. So a lot of times we get pages like this. This is the FDIC's failed bank list. Um, there's a lot of columns and a lot of data just on this one page. Uh, but when you click on this button last, um, you see that it has 551 rows to it. Um, you could spend all day and, and uh, we, a whole week typing this in. You still probably wouldn't finish. You could give it to the intern to do, but they'd probably quit. Um, it does have now a download data button here, which is very nice. But just a few months ago, it didn't have it here. And a lot of government websites don't have any download data button at all. Um, uh, and this is a good example of one. The National Interagency Fire Center has this long list, and this is very helpful if you're ever co covering wildfires uh, in your area. We sure did when I was living in Arizona. Um, and you can see this long grid and long list. And, you know, it's very hard to download that information uh, without being able to go in and scrape it. And this is your table. It's laid out in this little grid like this. And we can capture all this content and flow it seamlessly into a spreadsheet on Google Sheets. You can also, it'll also work most of the time uh, with Excel as well, but I always just flow it into Sheets. It's one of the easier ways to do it. Uh, so go back to the scraping assignment. You'll see your uh, HTML code here. Uh, and I walk you through the steps here on how to build it out and add everything. Um, and this would be the final code you would enter into the spreadsheet. I equal sign import HTML, um, written much like a formula you would do to add or subtract something or summarize a bunch of cells on a uh, Excel or Sheets document. Uh, and then you have the URL. This is In this case, it's the FDIC's failed bank list. Uh, then in the quote marks here, table, uh, and then zero at the end. Um, be very careful not to add in spaces between anything. If there's a space anywhere, uh, it's very picky about that, and the script won't work. Um, so go ahead and highlight uh, the uh, uh, line here uh, and copy it. <clears throat> Now we're going to open a Google Sheet, and to do that, you need to go log into your Google Drive, click New, go to Google Sheets, and it will open for you. Uh, and as it's loading here, I just wanted to point out, uh, you should probably go in the upper left-hand corner where it says Untitled Spreadsheet uh, and give it a title before you uh, ever get started on it. Um, it's always important to have the titles because uh, if you need to go back and find the sheet, it's very important to have that there. Okay, now that you've got it labeled, just go to cell A1, uh, and you've got your script captured in, in a copy, just hit Command B and paste it in. And if you're living right, it will have scraped all 551 lines of this database. 
Um, as you can see, you can scroll down here. I always check the width to make sure I captured all of the uh, data. And I always scroll through it. No matter how long it is, I scroll through it just to make sure there aren't any blank lines or garble in the data, things like that, just to make sure everything's kosher. And I always check, and this is an important step, the very last line of my sheet. 500, line 552, the Bank of Honolulu. The reason it's 552 lines is it takes into account one line for the header, uh, which we had at the very top. Then I go back to my original sheet that I scraped, go to the last page, and make sure it matches Bank of Honolulu. Because what happens sometimes is you'll be scraping a page and it'll have more than one table in it. And if you run into that, just change the table number at the end and keep scraping. Do table zero, table one, table two, table three, and it'll scrape all the way through so you'll have a complete data set. And it's just a little uh, uh, tip um, to uh, uh, make sure that you've captured all the data. Um, I've got some more links down here at the bottom of uh, databases uh, that are up there, spreadsheets that we can scrape. Uh, and here's the code. Uh, so Mike's going to hit pause right now and give you a little time uh, to do some scraping, and we'll see if uh, your Wi-Fi is running uh, well enough uh, to uh, allow you to do this. And here's an example of one, the National Interagency Fire Center, uh, that you can take and just cut and paste into your sheet and see if you can get that data to load. And there it is. Boom. Um, so play with this for a minute, and Mike will turn the uh, uh, video off, and we'll come back in just a minute. Okay, our next tool is Tabula, and what Tabula does is it allows us to scrape PDFs, and these are native PDFs, PDFs that started as a Word document or something like that, but it allows us to scrape data out of a PDF table and flow it straight into a spreadsheet, which is really nice. Tabula is free software that you have to download off the web. You can download it at this web address, Tabula, T-A-B-U-L-A, dot technology. There's no dot com at the end. It's just tabula dot technology. Um, as you can see, there's a little button here, download for the Mac, and, and uh, you can uh, download it there. Um, you can go into tabula then once you have it in your applications or put it out on the toolbar uh, on the side of your page. Uh, you can click on that icon, and I've got it off screen here, uh, so I'll click on it, and it will launch into your browser and you will have the Tabula tool right in your browser, which is really nice. It runs out of your browser, but it's running off of your desktop uh, or your hard drive. Uh, and this is what the interface looks like. It gives you uh, past PDFs that you've imported, so if you need to go back and rescrape something again, uh, you can, or you can go in and remove them like I'm doing now and get rid of them, uh, which is great. Um, to bring in a new sheet, um, you just simply click Browse, uh, and I've got a PDF, a uh, native PDF, out on my uh, page. This is voter turnout, I believe, in New Jersey. Um, so I'm going to open this PDF up, and it sits in this little field here. I just hit the import button, and it will bring it in and give me an interface uh, that allows me to draw on it. So if you uh, uh, hover over it, you'll see you get these little crosshairs here. One tricky thing about Tabula, don't scrape the header. It tends to skew uh, the cells on the data. Just scrape from the first line of data all the way down to what you have at the bottom here, the totals, and highlight that area. Uh, you can also hit auto detect tables and it will auto detect the table for you and select it for you, which is a very nice feature if you're going to have a multi-page PDF and you want to scrape a table off of uh, each page or every other page, something like that. You can just hit auto detect, especially if you're working with a very large file. But with this just being one screen, we can scrape this New Jersey voter turnout data by highlighting it as I've done here. If you make a mistake, you can click on the X. But I'm going to preview and export that extracted data. So I hit that button and it's now got an HTML page and it's running a formula very similar to what we just did with Google Sheets uh, where it will take and export it out as a CSV file, hit export, and it will download it to your desktop or to your downloads folder, and then you can take and open up your spreadsheet right here on your desktop, and I've now extracted all that data right into my Excel spreadsheet. Um, very handy little tool, and again, uh, you can use it uh, to extract multiple tables by just hitting that auto detect uh, feature on it. So that's Tabula, tabula.technology. 
download it to your desktop uh, and hard drive and run it out of your applications menu. So that's it for data scraping. Have at it. Go ahead and download it and see if you can get it to work.